guys, what's up? It's TDRP Cubing here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the X-Men Galaxy version 2. Here it is guys, the X-Men Galaxy version 2 Mega Minx. So the cube comes with of course a cube, and then this box of spare parts. This is actually um, parts for one of the sides, so let's just open this up. So. Basically, if I want to make a black side, I can switch out any of these sides to be it, make it a black side. Also, inside of here, besides the little extra black parts, there are a few magnets, and yes, this cube is magnetic. Here are the magnets up close. So let's put all these other extra parts and pieces and magnets away and get into first turns. Oh yeah, that's definitely what I wanted. So I tried someone else's Mega Minx at one of the competitions. I went to the latest one and I really liked it so I decided to order it. And what actually happened is I got the wrong one. Like before I started YouTube. So now I just finally got the right one. And this is definitely my main. Over the YJ Yuhu, Which is now my past main. This is definitely a better Mega Minx. And it's concave. For the grip. So you can't really tell. It's a little concave. It kind of dips in. Definitely worth the price. And yeah I'll get into later details. Throughout the video. I'll get in them later. But dang, this is a really good puzzle, guys. The cube also came with a pamphlet. So compared to my last main, it is actually a little bit smaller than it. While the YJ Yuhu was only $12 and the X-Men Galaxy version 2 was $29.99, the YJ Yuhu came with only, well, the YJ Yuhu. And the X-Men Galaxy came with the X-Men Galaxy, spare parts, magnets, and a pamphlet. Also, the X-Men Galaxy version 2 is much easier to control than the YJ Yuhu. The YJ Yuhu locks up a little bit too much and it's too hard to control. You can tell that there are magnets in the cube when you turn it slowly, but when you turn it fast, then you can't even tell that there are magnets in it at all. What magnets do is make the cube more stable and easier to control. When you overshoot, you get lockups, which is what I get in the YJ Yuhu. But the X Men Galaxy doesn't even overshoot, so you don't get lockups. Here's what the cube sounds like. So I definitely think that the X Men Galaxy version 2 is worth the price of $30. There are other 3x3s out there that are $20 more that are also magnetic, so the price is really good for a puzzle with this good quality. Also, the cube turns very fluidly, and it is really easy to control due to the magnets and its size. Anyways, I'll just let you watch the rest of the solve.
So that, guys, was my unboxing and review of the X-Men Galaxy version 2M, the concave one. If you have any questions, then just ask them in the comments down below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and bye.